Purple Warriors podcast. I'm your host, Ali Sugars, and thank you for joining us. This podcast is about raising awareness for domestic and family abuse by allowing survivors to share their own journeys to recovery. You will find practical yet powerful information and tools that you can immediately implement into your own journey to recovery. You will also hear information on how you can help someone you suspect may be in a toxic relationship. To support this podcast and get access to amazing bonus content, click Become a Patron for more information. If you have a story to share, reach out to me, Ali F. Sugars, on Facebook, YouTube and Instagram. Hosts and guests will often discuss sensitive topics in detail. While this is done with the utmost respect and dignity, this may cause triggers for some listeners. and welcome to this episode of the Purple Warriors podcast. Now, I'm doing something a little bit special today because I can. This is a bonus episode of the podcast and it is actually a yoga lesson that my daughter, Taylor Campbell, has recorded for our patron episodes. Now, I've decided to release it to the public because I think that given everything that's going on in the world with COVID-19, there are obviously a lot of people suffering extra stress, extra anxiety, and therefore something like this, a yoga lesson that you can use to help with that stress and anxiety is going to be of benefit to us all. So I'm going to hand it over to Taylor now. I do hope that you enjoy this bonus episode of Taylor's yoga class. So enjoy. Hi, my name is Taylor. Uh, we're just here to do a uh, basic beginners yoga practice today, just focusing on relaxation and um, tension release, um, which is great for beginners as well if you've never tried yoga. We'll just start just by sitting, you can do this laying down if you like as well, but I'll just show you sitting up. We'll just start taking some big slow breaths in and out. So breathing in through the nose, and then just let it out. So just take the time to just regulate your breath. Feel how that can slow your heart rate down as well. Just starting to become aware of your breath. You can take one hand to your heart, to your chest, and just breathe into this space up here. You can feel your chest rising and falling as you breathe in and out. So we usually breathe into this space when uh, we're anxious or nervous or in a bit of a uh, huff and puff maybe. Find that you can't take really, really big breaths if you breathe into this space. Maybe if you take your hands to your ribs and try and breathe into this space here. So trying to feel as you breathe in that your hands and your ribs are expanding out to the sides as you breathe in, and as you breathe out, they just gently relax again and your hands come a little bit closer. And notice you might be able to take a little bit more breath here. You feel the back of the rib cage also working and engaging. So you're using a little bit more of the body to help you breathe. Trying to control the exhale, let it out as slow as you can. And then maybe taking the hands down below the belly button, so the lower belly, and trying to breathe into this space. You're sending the air really deep into the body, so breathing in again through the nose. And a big exhale. 
You're trying to fill up your belly as I said, the balloon in your belly. Try to blow up the balloon, send the air really deep down and low into the body. You can feel your belly pushing out a little bit as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, you feel that just relax. This is the place where we breathe when we practice yoga. And that's because when we breathe in this area, deep into the belly, we can actually take in a lot more air and a lot more oxygen into the uh, muscles and the brain as well. So that can really help to calm the nervous system. And also obviously your heart rate, body temperature as well. So it just balances out a lot of things in the body. Taking time to again just control the breath, become aware of it, try to clear off everything else in your mind and just focus on the breath. And if you're laying down, maybe coming up to sit as well. If you've got a cushion, you can sit on a cushion that's comfy for you. And we'll just start to coordinate the breath with the movement. So taking a big breath in as you reach up to the sky. And a big breath out as you let the hands just float down to the floor. And again, a big breath in as you reach up. And a big breath out as you let the hands float down. So we're just coordinating with the movement with the breath. We're trying to connect the breath with the body. And again, just focusing on what's happening in your body right now. Trying to let all the distractions from your mind just disappear. And we'll try and continue that coordination of the breath with the movement throughout the whole practice as well. This time just reaching up with one arm at a time as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, just folding over gently to the side as you breathe out. And breathing in as you swap hands, and as you breathe out, folding to the other side. Breathing in, folding over. Breathing in. And just going this time with your own breath again, trying to slow everything down with control. Doing this with your eyes closed is really good as well, so you can really just focus on what is happening inside your body and inside your mind, instead of looking around at the world around you. Lovely. All right, we'll come onto hands and knees. I call this tabletop position. So in your tabletop position, you want to have your hands straight underneath your shoulders and your knees straight underneath your hips. So our knees aren't together like this. They're spread out just a little bit. So they are directly underneath your hips. So just take a moment to find that tabletop position. And try and keep your arms as straight as you can so you've got a nice flat back of your table. So we'll do some cat cow. So what we're doing is we're going to take a big breath in. As you breathe in, let your belly button drop towards the floor and look up as far as you can towards the ceiling. And as you breathe out, we're pulling the belly button in towards the spine and arching through the shoulder blades. And again, breathing in, our belly button reverses back to the floor. We look up to the sky. And as we breathe out, we pull the belly button up rolling through the shoulder blades and again just flowing between those two positions so you can really feel what's going on with your spine if there's a part of your spine that's a bit stuck or a bit uh, restricted in movement and again we're trying to focus on relaxing those tight and tense parts of the body so we're really trying to roll into that part Use the breath to help release. So 
Again, breathing out as we arch up through the back. Breathing in as we look up and let the belly fall to the floor. And once you've had enough of that, you feel like your spine is nice and warm, we're coming to a child's pose. So we have our toes together at the back, the knees are slightly apart, and you walk the hands out as far as you can in front of you, and then just relaxing your head down onto the floor. And if that's a bit much for your upper back, you can actually just rest your head onto your fist as well like this. Just to let your shoulders relax a bit. We'll just continue to breathe here for a, a few moments. So again, just trying to relax into the floor and let gravity pull you down, let your bones feel really heavy. So again, just breathe in here. Big controlled breath in and out. And then slowly, with your next breath in, we're going to come up to our tabletop again. And then tuck your toes under at the back. And we'll just lift our hips up towards the sky, coming into a downward dog. So the aim of this is to try and get your tailbone pointing up as high as you can to the ceiling. And you can bend your knees as much as you need here to be able to do that. Try and keep your hands flat on the floor and your arms straight. And just keep pushing to keep that tailbone aiming up to the sky. And just take a few moments here. Again, just to breathe, feel how the breath changes the body. And we'll just tiptoe the feet towards the hands. Again, you can bend your knees as much as you need to come to the front of your mat. And then we're going to come into a big forward fold. So just folding towards the legs. Again, you can bend the knees as much as you need. And let your hands just relax towards the floor. And give your head a little nod and a little shake just to relax the neck and the shoulders. Again, your knees are bent as much as you need. My belly is actually touching my thighs. Keep the breath nice and steady. And then we're slowly going to push the feet into the floor to slowly roll through our spine to stand up. You can do a couple of little rolls with your shoulders. Beautiful. All right. So I'll go through um, a bit of a sun salutation. So this is a really nice way to wake up in the morning. It's also a really great way to um, just stretch out your body before you go to bed as well. So probably at the start at the front of your mat, keep your feet straight underneath your hips again. We're going to take a big breath in and reach up towards the sky. And as you breathe out, you can use the hands to walk down the legs. Again, bend the knees as much as you need to come into that forward hang again. As you take your next breath in, we're going to come to a flat back. So lifting up through the shoulders, coming to a flat back. You can use the hands or legs if you need. As you breathe out, letting yourself fold again to the floor. Let your hands fall to the floor. And we'll slowly walk the feet out, keeping your arms nice and straight and strong, and come into a big, strong plank. Now, if it gets a bit much, you can come onto your knees. So you're just doing a half. We'll just hold this here for a few breaths so you can really feel the strength of your body. And again, we're using the breath to really help hold our body here. And 
One more big breath in. And your next breath out, we're going to lower our body down to the floor, bending at the elbows, keeping our elbows tucked in tight to the body. Excellent. I'm just going to shuffle back a little bit. <laughs> So we've got our chest down to the floor now. So keep your, your hands underneath your shoulders. And as you take a big breath in, we're going to roll the shoulders back and peel them down the spine, which will lift our chest up to the floor just slightly. And as you breathe out, just relaxing down again. And again, we'll do that again. So breathing in, roll the shoulders back and down the spine. This is great for posture as well. Breathing out. Do one more breathing in, peel the shoulder blades back and down. Maybe pushing the hands into the floor a little bit this time. And then relax them down. Beautiful. Using the hands to push into the floor to come back up to our little plank. And then you can tuck the toes at the back and come back into your downward dog. So our tailbones again pointing up towards the ceiling, bending your knees as much as you need. And then we're going to tiptoe walk the feet towards the hands again. Coming into a big forward fold again. Give your head a little nod, a little shake. Just to encourage that relaxation. And then pushing the feet into the floor to stand up. We'll go straight into that straight away again. So breathing and reaching up. As you breathe out, maybe walking your hands down your legs or you can keep your hands on your hips as we fold forward. Bending your knees as much as you need. As we breathe in, we come into a flat back. You can use your hands on your legs. And as we exhale, hands come to the floor. We're going to step back into our plank again, take as many steps as you need. And a big breath in. And a big breath out, lowering to the floor. Keep your elbows tucked in. Same as before, breathing in our shoulder blades, peel back and down our spine, lifting our chest up on the floor. And exhale down. Let's do one more. Again, shoulder blades peel back and down the spine. Using our hands into the floor. Exhale down. And again, we'll come back straight into our child's pose this time. So we have our toes together, knees just slightly apart, and just folding forward. We'll just hold here for a few breaths just to get the breath back. Nice and steady until we gain control of that again. And slowly coming back up onto our hands and knees. We'll just help one foot. We're going to bring it forward in between our hands. You can step it forward or help it forward. And um, you can also feel free to grab a blanket to put under your lower back knee here. It's a bit hard on the floor. But what we're going to do is we're going to frame our hands around our foot. And we're just going to lunge into that front foot. So you're getting a nice stretch up the front of your hip. So if you're sitting at a desk for work, all day or sitting on the couch, you get a nice stretch at the front of your hip. It's not used to bending in that way. And if that's comfortable for you here, you can stay here or you can try taking the hands on top of the knee. So you're getting an even deeper stretch in the front of the hip there as well. And then just taking a few moments to just breathe here again.
Try and focus on sending that breath into the tight parts of your body. So to just encourage the release and the relaxation of the muscles as well. And when you're ready, take your hands back down, bring your legs back, and we can just sit still for a little bit, give our hands a little stretch. Your arms a little stretch, lift the palm away. And just breathe, smile. Come sitting on our bottom winner, just with your legs out in front of you. So if it's a bit hard to sit with your legs straight in front of you like this, you can actually sit on a cushion or um, if you've got stairs, you can sit on just the stair as well, just to raise your hips up a little bit so it's not stretching as much. So you can take a big breath in, we'll take our hands up to the sky. And just like before, as we breathe out, we're going to fold forward over the legs. Just let the hands fall where they want to fall. And you will feel a nice stretch up the whole back line of the body. So up the back of the legs, the lower back, maybe even the neck as well. And that might be a little bit nervy, but that is great to release a lot of tension and um, stress within the body. So just breathe here. And breathe out nice and controlled. As we breathe in, we're trying to lengthen the body. As we breathe out, we try and relax. Again, breathing in, lengthening. Breathing in, relax, fold forward. And then slowly using the hands to just walk back to sit up nice and straight. Excellent. We'll take our bottom just a little bit further forward onto the mat. And then we'll just lie down flat on your back. And we'll just hug one knee in towards the body. You can bend the other knee up a little bit if you want. And just give it a little circle. And then with whichever knee you've got lifted towards your chest, we're going to take that knee over to the opposite side of the body. So we come into a nice little spiral twist. And try to look towards the hand that's out nice and long. So you get a nice big twist all the way from the bottom of your spine to the top of your neck. And again, just try to relax and just breathe here. If you need, you can put a cushion underneath that lifted knee just to support you there. Just stay here just for a few minutes. Nice big breath into that lower belly, taking as much air as you can. And then exhaling with control. And then slowly coming back through the centre and we'll swap that over. So hugging the opposite leg into your body now and again, you can do this with a straight leg or you can have that bent slightly bent. We'll just gently do some little circles into the hips, both directions. And then we'll take that lifted leg over to the opposite side of the body. So again, coming into a twist on the other side of the body. And taking our gaze over the extended arm. And again, if you need a cushion here, you can just rest that leg on top of the cushion. So you're coming into stillness. And again, just trying to focus on your breath here. So coming into the breath, sending the breath down deep into the belly. 
and then just letting it out as slow as you can. Slowly coming out of that twist and just flying flat on the floor now. So just extending your legs out long and having your palms beside you with the palms up towards the ceiling. So if that's a bit of um, strain on the lower back, you can actually place uh, a cushion or a rolled up towel or something underneath your knees to just lift them up a little bit. So it's a little bit of pressure off of the lower back. We're just going to take a few moments here to just relax and just breathe. And feel the weight of your body just being pulled down towards the floor. And bringing our awareness back to the breath and we're trying to send that breath really deep into that belly. Again, taking a big breath in through the nose. And we control letting that breath out. own timing of your breath. And just feeling every part of your body that's in contact with the floor. And just feel those parts of your body just melting even further into the floor. And every time you exhale, just releasing a little bit more with the body. Just releasing control of the breath, so just breathing naturally. Notice how you still want to take in a lot of air into the lungs. Calm mind, calm body. You can stay here for as long as you like. Stay here for 10 minutes, you can stay here for 20 minutes, you can stay here for an hour. It's up to you, however long you need. Just decompress, let everything go. Bring it back to you. When you're ready to come sitting up, just gently rolling to one side, just taking out any thing underneath your legs and just gently rolling over to one side and resting here for a moment before we come up to sit. So you're just readjusting again. Your breath is still calm, release. And using the hands, Gently bring your body back up. And again, just sitting in a nice, comfortable position, maybe on a cushion. And just sitting comfortably and just take a moment to just sit here and just breathe and just feel that sense of calm just wash over you. Just feel your breath becoming nice and controlled. It's regular now, regular, slow breathing. Stay here for as long as you like, um, but that's a great beginner's practice for yoga. Thanks for joining. <laughs>